Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking twisted column in Revit. Now it looks kind of like a huge rope, one that you would use to tie down a huge ship or a yacht. And I really like it, it adds some new dynamic to your projects. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit in just the start page. So I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And the downside of this project, you can't really do it as a family. You need to do it as an in-place mass. You, It just wouldn't work as a family. Just the, the family options just just can't complete this task. So here I am in just a simple project. So I'm just going to do a floor over here. And let's switch to I don't know 300 generic. And let me just change the units here to meters. I just prefer using meters for these types of projects. And let me create something like this. And let's do 10 by 10 square. And this will be held up by our new columns. So now I'm just going to switch to 3D, select this, go here, copy, paste, align to selected levels and choose level 2. Okay, so we have a couple of floors, so this upper one will be need, will need needs to be held in place by a by four columns. So let's create those columns. So for the column, I'm just going to go here to level 1, go to massing in sight and choose in place mass. Now let me just close out of this and you can leave it at mass1, don't have to name it. And now let's start modeling. So first I'm just going to use the reference plane, you can either hit here or use the RP shortcut. And then you just place one like this and one like this. This will just be a center of our column and I'm going to be starting from the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to select this, ok we don't have dimensions. So let's do this and this and let's try this. This should be now at 1 and this at 1 as well. And if you want to see kind of more precise, this is just 1 meter, you can just go to units and then change this to 2 decimal places and it will be a bit more precise. Okay, so let's now start creating the column. So I'm just going to go here to the south elevation and now we need to add some reference planes. So just go here to reference plane or again just the RP shortcut. I just prefer using shortcuts. So I'm just going to do two like this. So from the bottom where the column starts and on the top where it ends. And then I'm just going to create a couple of more. So let's place one here, one here and one here as well. Okay, and the number of these uh, these reference planes will determine of how many rotations you will have in your column, so more reference planes equals more rotations and less reference planes equals less rotations. So if you want to have kind of a just a almost straight rotation or just almost a straight rope then do less and if you wanted to kind of make a couple of circles around the column then you need more. So this is kind of a midway options and then I'm going to go here with the type in DI for aligned dimension and then just place a dimension like so. Pull it out and hit EQ to equalize these distances so these are at equal distances. Okay so now let's go into level 1. So here we are and I don't really like working in level 1 for this because we can basically only see the bottom of our column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, go to level 2, go here to wireframe and then I'm just going to type in VR for view range and change the bottom and the view depth to unlimited. So you will basically be able to see and edit infinitely down. So now you can see even the bottom and the top of this column. Okay, so now let's start modeling the actual geometry of the column. So I'm going to go here and use model lines. Make sure that you check draw on work plane so you don't, don't mess up and just attach to some face. And then here I'm just going to go to... Okay, and we need to name our reference planes, that's something I forgot. So let's go here and let's name this one number one. This one should be number two. Number three number four and yeah you guessed it number five 
Okay, so now we have our reference planes named. So let's go back into level two and let's start with model lines, draw on work plane and let's change this to plane number one. And then I'm just going to place one line like so. And now I can change this distance and I'm going to change it to 0.3 meters. This is kind of the diameter of the column. It, sh it will be a bit larger actually later on. And now let's start creating a circle over here. And for this circle, I'm going to go with 0.8 meters or 8 centimeters. And now once I have this, this is on reference plane number one. Now I'm just going to delete this line. I don't really need it anymore. Now let's go again model line, go with reference plane number two. Then again, do the same thing. Place this, place it at 0.3 meters, create a circle with the diameter of 0.8, place it there and you're finished. Okay, now we go again model, change this to reference plane number three, place a line, place this at 0.3, circle make sure you snap it to this here this intersection and not the midpoint that's quite important point eight finish then again model line this should be number four yeah number four let's do our line at point three meters and then do this here at point eight. Okay, and let's do the final one. So at plane number five, and actually we don't really have to place a line, we can just place it over here. Okay, and now if we go into 3D, it looks kind of like this. So you have a bunch of these little circles in the sky. And then you select all of them and you go create form. And you get this twisted form like so. And then you need to select this make sure to select the whole form, go back into level one or level two, doesn't really matter, and go rotate, copy, place, center of rotation, and here and for the angle just type in 30. Okay, so once you have this, go into 3D, select both of them, go back into level one, rotation, copy, place, place it here, and for the angle, let's do 60. Okay, so now we have that. Again, select all of them, go back into level one, rotate, copy, align, or sorry, angle, but first place center of rotation, angle, and now we're going to be going with 120. And now just repeat that. So just rotate, angle, 120, copy, and place rotation here. Okay, what did we do? Okay, we didn't really finish this. Okay, so let's select. Okay, let's select that one. We need six. Or no, four. Sorry. Yeah, we need four. Go back into level one. Rotate. Copy. Place and then 120. And there you go. And if we go into 3D, it looks like this. We have our twisted rope style column. And now select everything, go here and to the material editor and or material browser. And I'm just going to type in stone. And let's search down here. Let's use this one, load it in, go apply, OK. And just go finish mass. And now we can select our column and let's go into level one. And I'm just going to type in DM for draw mirror. And then I'm going to mirror it around this axis. And now it's just going to basically copy it to the other side. It's some heavy geometry, so it might take a while. Then again, select this and go draw mirror again and mirror it around this axis. And once we have basically created our little four columns that are holding our floor planes in place. Now we can just create a 3D and see how that looks like. So let's just wait a second to finish. 
Okay, now let's go into your camera view. Let's create a camera view like this. Yeah, this looks nice. Maybe place it like that. Extend this a little bit and let's just rotate it a bit. I want to see them all real nice. Okay, so we have this and let's just render it. So I'm just going to type double R, go medium. Yeah, let's leave it at this and let's see what happens. And this is basically what you get. So we, we've got our twisted columns and it looks really cool. And you can actually see it through these a little bit, which I find amazing. It looks really cool to kind of be able to have these transparent twisted rope style columns. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like this and I hope you can use it in some project in the future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.